It's Rover 42. 42. The good news is that the Rover 42 may become my daily driver again. And you probably didn't know it wasn't, but it's not been for the past two weeks. And that's because... No, no, and that's because the car known as Gladys, dear Gladys, has been my daily driver. But it looks like somebody's going to buy the thing tomorrow. Gladys can't be here today because um, it's at home because I walked to work. I have an interesting question for you. Have you ever had a Facebook ban? I haven't, but I know lots of people who have and they seem to get ban after ban. And most of the time it is for something that doesn't really seem that important. Things can be taken out of context and suddenly you've got a ban for something that you don't really deserve. I've known many people with this. And the other really curious thing is there's nothing you can do about it. You've just got to wait. And there's nothing Facebook can do about it. It's all automated. There are no people involved in banning or unbanning. And that gives me a rather exciting question. Does Mark Zuckerberg have a Facebook account? And if he does, has he ever been banned? It's a curious idea, isn't it? Imagine him being banned by his own machine for something he didn't mean to say or do. Or he just put a meme up that could have been taken the wrong way and suddenly he's not allowed on there any longer. And that brings me to another question. What about Elon Musk? What kind of car do you reckon he drives? Fancy a nice sit down. The assumption is that he'll drive a Tesla, isn't it? But why? He can have what he likes. He doesn't have to drive a Tesla. When I lived opposite a Vauxhall garage, the manager there didn't drive a Vauxhall, they have Jack. But it wasn't even a new one. Take Mark Zuckerberg. Apparently, he's not even on Facebook. Helen Musk might not like the inconvenience of having to plug his car in outside his terraced house. Trailer cable out of his terrace house and across the pavement, leaving the floor mat in the way, stopping any claims against his big company. Oh. Look at that lot. That looks like all of the Canada geese in the world just congregating in one place. What are they doing? What are they doing over there? Having a rave. Have you ever thought that ducks sound like cockneys? You know, the way they quack. Should be enjoying this. Could be the last drive I have of this car. I'm just feeling it a bit. Do you know, it's very, very likely as well because the chap who wants to buy this car is on his way right now. So the chances of him going home without it are quite slim. And I feel a bit sad about it. Do you, have you, do, do you do this? Do you do this? You sell a car and then at the moment you're about to sell it, you think, oh, I wish I wasn't buying it. But I can't keep all of them. I can't keep this car as well as the other two. Lovely Gladys. Dear, lovely Rover 400 Gladys. Do you know what I'm going to miss about this car? Well, I'm going to miss these seats and this rather fabulous red carpet and the green paint and the the bodywork because the bodywork's lovely on it. It's all lovely and rust-free except for that one little problem just under there. <sighs> I'm going to miss its face. It's a 400 rather than a 45, so it's a rarity. I'm going to miss its heater. That furnace-like heater, the way it gets so hot so quickly. I'm going to miss the way the engine goes on, just with a flick of the key and it's on. 
hot or cold, it's just fantastic. And I'm going to miss the way it drives. I'm going to miss that engine because that engine's fantastic. This really is an ice rink of a yard at the moment. That's so slippery and potentially very dangerous. It's as dangerous as a tiger, a hungry tiger, a hungry drunken tiger queuing up for a kebab and someone pushes in front. My plan for today was to wash this car as soon as I come in because as you can see it's absolutely covered in salt and that doesn't look particularly fetching but as you've seen by the ice rink there flowing water is um, somewhat of a problem unless the cold water tap around the back has miraculously unfrozen itself somehow then there's going to be no washing today have you ever thought about the way you walk on ice? You do this kind of spider walk. And now we're going to say bye-bye to the plant who is off to Lincoln, to his new home, where Gladys will be, no doubt, a very happy car. Bye-bye, Gladys. Have a nice time. Gladys has gone. And this is, as I said, it's kind of bittersweet because on one hand, these cars need to be sold. I need to buy them and then I need to sell them. And that's what's happened. But I really had such a soft spot for that car. I did right from the start. And I knew in one way or another, I was going to have that car for myself. And I did, but now I don't. So that means there's now a new question. What car? am I going to have instead? Hmm? Back to Alfie? Or, as I suggested at the start of this video, back to my rather wonderful, beloved Rover 42, which I haven't used for a couple of weeks and I miss it already. The answer's simple, isn't it? The practical Rover 45 that everybody seems to really like, including my wife but uh, Nigel's been recently serviced and has all sorts of things done to it. I can trust that car. I can trust this one as well, but that one, that's my favorite. And you notice, it's always been my favorite. So, I don't do things to please other people. I do them to please myself. That means it has to be Nigel. Nigel the victor. And now it's time to go home. Oh look, a rather predictable double bluff. There's Nigel. Nigel's staying here after all and coming home with me tonight is indeed Alfie. Alfie's clean you see. Before you go thinking I'm being cowardly and uh, not being quite as much of a man as I say I'm giving in to what Mrs Mustard wants. It's not that. To be honest I, I, I love the idea of going home in Nigel and seeing her face uh, because it would have just amused me. But no, that's not the case. I've just checked Nigel's MLT and it's run out. And uh, the garage is closed today, so I can't really uh, do anything about it. So tomorrow, tomorrow, I shall take Nigel for his MLT. And that'll be another exciting episode to look forward to. Will Nigel pass its MLT, etc. i tell you what's interesting here, actually. Because Alf has been stood idle for a couple of weeks, I think the, uh, one of the brakes is binding it to me. It's amazing how quickly they start doing that, they just don't like not to be used. As I pressed it, let go, it, it carried on being a bit slow, rather than just like, let me go, let me go, freedom, freedom to carry on rolling forwards. But no, it didn't want to do that, it just kind of, uh, it's not maybe that bad. Strange thing it is. As we know though, it does just seem to be the case of if you don't use them, they kind of stop working. And uh, that's what's happened. I'm sure it will be fine. The bit of use. Which is what is obviously going to happen. Please roll that bit, please roll It's only binding them as a slightly. One final thing. Um, I do hope that Gladys and his new owner have a lovely time together because I'm missing the lights on. It's a strange thing. Why do you get so attached to that? It's a strange thing.
Hello, my name is Paul and I run this channel and I spend an awful lot of time and effort trying to make these videos as interesting, quirky and amusing as possible. So if you like them, please do subscribe and press that notification bell as well. If you want to support the channel further, you can do. There is a link in the description with my email where PayPal donations can be made or pressing the super like thing or becoming a channel member. There's so many things you could do. Oh yeah, and thanks. Just around the lake there, there's a, a man dressed up in a Santa outfit, a Grinch mask thing, waving at people. And he was waving at me. And so I did this. <laughs>